If you're a content creator who's looking to multi-stream to both Twitch or YouTube, less TikTok, then you are going to want to watch this. Hi everyone, my name is Furia Vash. I have been a content creator for almost four years now, and I am so excited to say I have found one of the best tools in order to do multi-streaming. For those that don't know, multi-streaming is taking your stream and instead of going to just one platform, you're looking at putting it out to multiple platforms all at once and showing the same video to each platform. This can be super stressful because there's a lot of different factors when you're trying to figure out how to multi-stream. So this is the tool that I personally use to put on my Twitch or YouTube live plus my TikTok all at the same time. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and send me a comment about something that you enjoyed. Today, we're going to be looking at the best plugin that is also completely free, and it works for both a vertical or a horizontal platform. So let's start off at the very beginning. Where should you be getting this plugin? So this is Atom.tv, and this is one of the places you can get the plugin, but you can also get the plugin from GitHub as well. So depending on which one you prefer, just head on over and start downloading the plugin now. One thing you should know is that you need to be running OBS 29 or better in order to use this plugin. As usual, I like to give a huge shout out to Harris Heller because he was someone that I ended up finding most of the tutorials in order to teach and show you all this as well. So if you haven't, go check out his YouTube channel as he is just super phenomenal at everything he does. Once you've downloaded the plugin, your OBS is going to look like this. The difference is you're going to see a vertical scenes, a vertical sources section, as well as the vertical camera itself. The first thing I started messing with were the scenes and the sources. Your vertical sources work the same way that they do if you also are a streamer in OBS and you've already brought in things like your camera, different alerts, things like that. So you're just going to be dragging the things that you already have. In order to do this, you're just gonna click the little plus button here down at the bottom, and then you can go ahead and head into video capture device to add your camera. Or if you're looking for a display capture, head on over to display capture. And from there, you can click new, or you can click gaming if you're looking to display a specific game like Fortnite, for example. If this is TikTok, I would make a just chatting scene to look something like just my camera and you can adjust it and fix where your camera is at. Also TikTok related, you're going to want to have some type of gaming scene. So for this one, I have my camera on the top and then I am capturing my desktop or my game on the bottom half. This way, the TikTok video that's getting put out is going to actually fill up the entire screen instead of trying to put a horizontal image or video into my TikTok live and then you get those really chunky black borders that look absolutely terrible and no one likes to watch. Once you've named these scenes and you've added in your sources, there's something super cool that you need to try. You can actually sync your scenes to the other scenes that you're putting out on the other platform. And here's what I mean by that. If you right click one of your vertical scenes, you can actually click linked scenes. This will link your scenes to the scenes you are already putting out on the other platform. So if you've already built different scenes for your YouTube platform or your Twitch platform, you can literally just make sure that these two are now synced up so that they change together. Now that all of this is set up, you have two different ways you can take this. You can either have two horizontal images that if you wanted to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, you can do, or you can do a vertical platform like TikTok, with something like Twitch, which would be one vertical and one horizontal output. In order to change this, you're gonna head to the settings underneath your vertical camera. In the general section of settings, you're going to see the resolution is probably already set to 1080 by 1920. This is your vertical resolution. If I wanted to change this, I can actually go ahead and type in 1920 by 1080. And if you click okay, you're going to see that it's now changed into a horizontal image. Now, the important thing to include is if you are looking to stream to YouTube or somewhere that requires a stream key, you are going to need to add this in under the streaming tab in the vertical camera settings. So the streaming tab is going to have the server, the key, and then it also has all of this different information on how you want to encode the video. This is really important because you need to know what your PC or laptop can handle in order to be putting this out on two different areas. So if you feel like you've configured everything like you need to, you can just leave it the same as what you're already putting out to your other platform. Now, for those of you that are just looking to do the vertical platform, you're gonna go ahead and make sure you change this back to 1080 by 1920. Now, the key to having this go onto my TikTok without lagging my computer is all within this yellow button right down here. This is going to be your OBS virtual camera. And this is the key to making everything run smoothly and making your TikTok look fantastic 
without a TikTok live stream key, which is so nice for those of us that haven't been able to get one. Now, in order to get this working over on TikTok, you are going to need to download TikTok Live Studio. This is super easy to find if you just type in TikTok Live Studio, or you can access this from your main TikTok homepage. And now all you have to do is just click download. At the very start, you're going to need to set up your microphone and make sure that that is going through. After that, you can go ahead and set up your camera. When it has you bringing in your camera settings, this is where you're gonna click OBS Virtual Camera. Now, if you're not seeing this as an option, you're gonna need to head back over to OBS and make sure you turn it on. In order to turn it on, you're just gonna click that yellow button that we talked about earlier, and you should now have the option to select OBS Virtual Camera. Now, once you head into streaming settings, there is an option to actually run a test, which I highly recommend you do. This will let you know what your computer can handle and what the video quality should be, the bit rate, audio bit rate, etc. So in order to make sure this works properly, just make sure you add a new source with a camera attached and the camera is going to say OBS virtual camera. The camera format should also show that it is in vertical format. So make sure that it's a 1080 by 1920. You can change the exposure, saturation, or even the background of how the video is going to look. The main thing is once you like how the preview is over on that right hand side, go ahead and click apply. Now you have yourself a plugin that was completely free and you can multi-stream to two different platforms. Make sure to do your research on TOS whenever you're multi-streaming to different platforms at once. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.